Visualization and goal setting really is a secret to success. How do you visualize? How do you goal set? We know Arnold's secret to success. He tells us every time he talks. Visualizing mountain peaks, and you can see that his biceps actually look like miniature mountain peaks. I find doing that is helping me a lot with successes in my life. My experiences have been the visualization has actually been the hard part for me because it has to be a realistic visualization. And if you're gonna exaggerate, you need to exaggerate in a manner where whatever the exaggeration is, you're gonna be developing that same sort of version on that body part. Now back to Arnold, I mean, this guy had visualization down to a T. This guy would visualize his biceps as mountain peaks, the mountain peaks in Austria. And as you can see, uh, his biceps are incredible. They were incredible, they still are. He put so much effort into those biceps that I wanna explain a story to you that took place in World Gym. Bob Paris had a bar, I think it was a V bar, for doing tricep pushdowns. That was also one of Arnold's main pieces of equipment that he loved for doing biceps. To the point where Arnold walked up to Bob Paris, and you can read this in his book, he walked up to Bob Paris and he goes, I've got, I've got to have the bar, my biceps, my biceps. He kept talking about how important his biceps were. And Bob Paris, said a smart comment to him, I do the same for my triceps, which Arnold's triceps were not as good as his biceps. They were, they were fantastic. But the visualization that this guy went through is something that may be missing from today's repertoire of everything that we need to do to look good. I just finished an interview with Flavio Buccianini and he feels today's open men division look like farm animals. So I'm wondering, are these guys actually visualizing anything or are they just training to just put on unnecessary mass? Back to Arnold. Arnold visited Australia and he was very close friends with Robert Nalon, which most, most of you have heard of Robert. He's taken photos of Arnold, which no one else has, on these famous rocks between Bondi Beach and Coogee Beach and South Coogee, and he calls them the Muscle Rocks. I had the pleasure of being photographed by Robert on those rocks. And when Robert trained with Arnold in his own gym, when Arnold came to Australia, Robert was an arm maniac. He wanted to build arms, he followed Larry Scott, and he trained heavy. He used incredible amounts of weights, yet when he was training with Arnold, I remember Robert told me the story where he said, come on, let's go up to the 65s. And Arnold goes, nah, 45 feels better. So it was all about connecting to the muscle. Muscle connection. The mind to muscle connection is extremely important. A lot of people talk about this. Have you had anything to do with this? Have you actually ever tried it? This I've done all my life. And I've always wondered, am I doing it correctly? After a while, you develop your own style of doing things. And with a an eye on keeping it realistic because even though Arnold's biceps do represent a mountain peak, they are not mountains. So you have to have the, the realism in what you do. Have you actually ever kept things too realistic and maybe you achieved nothing? I know that happened to me for a while because I'm going, well, this just isn't enough. This isn't working for you. And then you, you wander off into heavy weights and all sorts of other rudimentary things. But in actual fact, the secret to all of it for me was visualization and visualizing something that is over, over the top, but realistic. And you can have it looking realistic on your body. I've read many books on visualization and that sort of stuff. And I've developed my own. One of them was a book from a good friend of mine, Tom Terwilliger, who studied NLP. I think Tom may be a master practitioner and his book, Seven Rules of Achievement from Vision to Action. So I deal with it in a particular manner where I have short-term, medium-term, and long-term goals. As far as bodybuilding and building muscle and building a beautiful body, that is one of my main sources of go-to things that I do because the mind-to-muscle connection is really important to the point when I've even watched Arnold train I've been in the gym when he's been in the gym. I've spoken with people who have trained with Arnold, like my good friend, Robert Nalon. They were doing biceps together. Now remember, Arnold's biceps and chest were his two best body parts. 
and the way Robert wanted to go really heavy on curls and Arnold will say no we'll use a lighter weight because I can actually feel it better so it's more than just lifting heavy weights you have to have the vision in your head you have to have realistic goals and what are realistic goals visualizing versus exaggerating what I do is go through each one of those mind to muscle connection how I want a muscle to look for many years I was having a problem thinking how are you gonna get your pecs to grow what can you actually visualize well I started visualizing balloons okay that helped my chest grow I made sure the things were kept realistic on my site johntorelli.com I deal with this in many different aspects I actually have an inbuilt goal setting system i speak to you about how to do exercises i also talk about keeping it realistic so things become achievable step by step you will find all of this on johntorelli.com click on the link below